Today we're going to be talking about the best WordPress plugin to use for forms on your WordPress website. So whether you have a one page scroller website that just tells a little bit about who you are, or if you're Amazon, both have one thing in common, and that is the need of forms. Now, for most of us, that's just going to come in the shape of a contact us or contact me form. You just want a place where people can enter in their name, their email address, some basic details, and then just send you a message. And if that's all you need, just a contact form, then what I'm going to be talking about in this video will solve that. However, if you're needing something a little bit more complex, and this is something that I've needed over and over and over again with each WordPress website that I've created throughout the years, and that is more than just a simple contact us form. Instead, I need something that is a questionnaire for a particular type of client, or maybe I want somebody to sign up for a webinar, or again, any type of information that you want to collect, it's great to be able to do that straight through your own website. Now, in the past, I've relied on things like Typeform, which is a pretty good third party service. It's just kind of expensive. And I found that over time, it didn't quite have all of the needs that I wanted. And one of the biggest needs and why I went searching high and low for a good WordPress plugin or any tool that would work well for forms is spam. Now, maybe you've had this problem too. Maybe you've got a WordPress website, maybe you got a Shopify website or who knows what type of website that you have and you've got a contact us form, but you're just getting flooded with bots and spam. Or maybe it's just people who you don't want to hear from who keep emailing you over and over again. And this is what I ran into with Typeform. Not only was I getting some spam, not a whole lot. Typeform does have some spam removal tools built into it so it wasn't too bad on the spam level but there were some people who just kept emailing over and over and again just to tell me about the product or service they were trying to pitch to me that I had no interest in. The other problem with having something like Google Forms or something like Typeform as great as they might be in their different areas is that you're sending somebody off of your website which generally speaking isn't a great idea. The longer you can keep somebody on your website even if they're doing something as simple as filling out a contact form the the more likely they are to take the action on the site that you want them to take, whether that's to buy a product, sign up for your email list, read your articles, watch your videos. Those things are less likely to happen if the moment somebody wants to reach out to you, they have to go to a Google form, which of course has no way of linking back to your site. Okay, so as a quick recap, what is it that I'm looking for? I'm looking for the ability to create forms that I don't have to custom code myself that have some sort of spam management built into the plugin. So I don't have to worry about a ton of spam. And that's relatively quick and easy to use and to manage. And so fortunately, I was finally able to find a plugin that I use every single day in order not only just to create forms, but also to make it easier for people to contact me and to provide me the information I want with that form. Okay, so what I'm going to do in this video, rather than give you more of like a generic tutorial on how to use this, I have a new website that I've been in the process of building. And part of the reason without getting into to all the details is I want to start taking on video clients, independent video clients for a wide variety of different types of videos. And so what I need is I have a contact form, which works great, but I also need to create a form and we'll need to create more forms in the future so that I can get specific details for somebody who wants a quote from me for a new video project. There's a lot of specific details I will need as a videographer to be able to not only price out and to quote that particular project, but I'm also going to need information so that I can fulfill that project effectively and kind of cut out a lot of the back and forth that comes with determining and getting on the same page with a client for exactly what to create for that project. So if you find specific information that you find yourself asking for over and over again, when people reach out to you through your website, that might be a good indicator that you're about ready to create a form specifically for that type of contact. Okay, so I think you get the idea. Without any further delay, let's jump in and go ahead and create this form. Okay, so here is the basic contact form that I have currently created with WP Forms, which is the plugin that we'll be using today. So if you are use, if you're just going to be creating a pretty basic contact form then their free version is going to work just fine. However, if you're going to want to be creating a lot of forms or more dynamic forms, then you're probably going to want to purchase their pro version. I'm not an affiliate and I'm not a sponsor. So you just want to make sure that you find 
uh, whichever plan works for you. I just went for their plus, which currently is just 79 bucks a year, pretty cheap, particularly if you compare it with a lot of the different form services that are out there, like Typeform, this would be a lot cheaper. And then, a and then of course you get to host it or use it on your own WordPress site, which is what I'm gonna be doing. And this is gonna allow me to use it on up to three sites. If you wanna be able to use it on five sites, you can pay more unlimited and also, unlocks a number of the features as well. But for if you're just going to be doing one single contact form and that's all you need this for, you can just download their free version. And for that, that will probably work just fine. OK, but like I said, I wanted to be able to create a little bit of a more dynamic form that will have a lot of extra features built into it for taking new video clients. OK, so I went ahead and I've worked up my questionnaire. So here are all the different pieces of information that I want to gather from anybody who's interested in getting a quote from me for a new project or a proposal. So let's go ahead and go through the process of creating that form. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click add new and I'm going to call this my video project questionnaire, paste that in there. And I'm just gonna go ahead, they've got a lot of templates in here that you can use. I'm more of a work from build from scratch type guy, so we're just gonna go ahead and do that. And the cool thing about this is they just got everything categorized that you can start using, uh, and then you just kind of drag them over. So I usually start out with first name, so we'll just do name, that works just fine. Then I usually do email, anything that's gonna be kind of required like that, or you can just click on it, that's even easier. One of the reasons why I really like this plugin is that you can click on this, you can do this with any field, but you, you get a number of different options here. And again, I don't know which of these are gonna come standard uh, with the free plugin or what or is paid. So you have to check that out to see which of these unlock with the paid version. But what you're able to do is you're able to go down under advanced and what you can do is you see this allow slash deny list. This doesn't necessarily stop spam. We'll get to spam in a second, but this feature is probably my favorite feature amongst all the features that exist in this plugin. Because what you can do is you can create a deny list and you can create a list of rules that prevent somebody from emailing you. So if you've got somebody named Jim at hotmail.com who keeps emailing you over and over and over again about some really cool, you know, or maybe it's Jim five, seven, you know, three, four, five, six, three, which would be more likely. But Jim just keeps telling you over and over again, again, about this insurance he wants you to buy. Well, you just put that here in your deny list. And then no longer will Jim be able to email you. But let's say that Jim starts making fake addresses at, you know, there's maildrop.cc, which is a service that allows anybody to send emails to you from throwaway accounts. Well, Jim could then go in here and create a million different accounts and email you from each of them every day because he really wants you to know about his insurance. But what you can do is you can just add a little asterisk here. And then that means that all email address, all emails sent from this address will not get sent to you. They will not come through. So this doesn't even get into the spam category, which we'll get into here shortly. But if there's just somebody who keeps emailing you and you don't want to hear from them, you can just keep adding email addresses or different domains to this list so that you can cut back on the email you don't want to receive. I wanted to mention that upfront because again, this is so important. Like there are a ton of different free plugins out there for creating forms in WordPress, but there are no other ones that I've seen, including something like Typeform, which of course isn't for WordPress. It's just, it's its own standalone service, but nobody has this basic feature that cuts back on so much unwanted email. So anyways, okay, so back to the form itself. So we've got the name and we've got the email. We've got our deny list set up so that we can start adding items to this if we want to. But now let's just go back to start adding fields. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna ask this question, what would you like me to shoot? And I want this to be a drop down. So we just click on this. Here's the label. You can add more of a description here if you want to, but all I gotta do is just start pasting in my options. Click to add another one, and then we'll click that we want this one to be required. Now, one of the reasons why I decided to go for the paid version of this plugin is because of the smart logic. So before I show you that though, we'll need to create an extra field. So go to add fields, and then I will add in paragraph text. Click on that and I will call this extra shooting details. And what we'll do is we'll say smart logic, enable smart object. And if 
what would you like me to shoot is equal to other, then we will show this extra field. Okay, so next is going to be a long form answer. So we want to pick paragraph text. What is the main purpose of this video? And I've got a description in here. Perfect, there we go. So we give people the ability to be able to type out a little bit on that. Next up is who is the target demographic? Again, paragraph text, who is the target demographic? This one is required. The main purpose of this video, we also want that required. So you wanna also, as you're going through and you are creating this, you wanna make sure that you're defining which items you want to be required. That means they can't fill, they can't submit the form unless they fill it out and which ones you wanna leave optional. Okay, for the next one, I'm actually going to create something that is a multiple select. So I want people to be able to choose multiple options here. So we'll say, where will this video be distributed? And then we just get to go through here and it looks like we can also bulk add one choice per line. I wish I would have done that for the other one, but you can just go through, click add new choices. And there we go. They all got added super simply. Now, similarly to the box that we had up here, if somebody selects other, I wanna make sure that another box appears below this so that people can provide details if they need to. So we'll go to paragraph text details. Perfect, smart logic, enable, show if, where will this be distributed is other. There we go, perfect. All right, so back to adding fields. Do you have an example video? So for this one, I'm actually going to want a website or URL so that people can paste in a URL for this one. Don't need that one to be required. This one we will want required. There we go, perfect. Okay, back to add fields, next field. How long do you want this video to be? For this one, we could probably just do a single line of text. We'll leave that one blank because some people don't know how long they want the video to be. That might be something they ask me to recommend. So how many days of shooting? That's another one that's good to ask, but Again, they may not know. They might say, you tell me. So we will not require that one. Will you need multiple angles? And this one, I'm probably just going to do a drop down that's just yes or no, or not sure. There we go. Do required on that one. Now this one's interesting. Is there a particular location where the shooting needs to occur? If so, where? And so what you're actually able to do with the current version that I'm doing is actually have a complete address field. And the cool thing is that it's all here and formatted for you so that you don't have to go in and add address line one, address line two, they've got all the states. So all I had to do is just enter in or just paste in the field and then there we go. And of course, this is just something US and I'm not gonna require this, uh, but again, it just creates the form fields for you. Do you have a particular date by which you need this video completed? So go to add fields, date, time, and again, it's gonna take care of this for me. So I just want date, perfect. And then of course, the ever important, how did you hear about me? It's good to know how people are finding you, who's referring you and information of that variety. So we'll go ahead and do multiple choice and we'll use their handy bulk add feature. Click add new choices, delete the ones that we don't want. There we go, click save. And then lastly, I typically, for most of the forms I I create, I like to add in an extra field that is just for anything else that they want to type in. So if there's just other details that didn't fit into another form field, they can feel free to didn't paste or type any of that information in there. And then we click save. So I didn't go through all these, but they've got some pretty amazing fields in here. I mean, you can do signatures. I don't have a high enough plan to be able to do that. I don't need that. You can do ratings, hidden fields. You can even show a preview of what this is going to, like what they've filled out already. You can even accept payments through Stripe if you wanna be able to do that. So a ton of different types of forms that you can build with this, but for my needs, and if you have, if you've got clients or, that you're working with, then this may work for you as well. Okay, so we've built that. Next thing we need to do is we need to embed this. Now, if you already have a page you've created for this on your site, then you can select it. I don't, so I'm gonna click create new page. I'm just gonna call this video project questionnaire. Let's go. There we go, it's already created it for me. We'll go ahead and we'll click publish. We'll see that it has actually pasted in here the form code that require, that is required for that to display. We'll click edit. I just want this to be video project 
for the slug, click update, and now view the page. Perfect, there we go. We got the first name, last name, got the email, we've got the drop downs, we've got all the information that we want. So like I said, if we select other, you'll see that those extra shooting details now show up. And then if we click interview, it goes away. So perfect way to be able to make sure that this is a nice, clean, easy to use form. Now, one of the things that you might see that is currently missing from my beautiful form is a way to avoid spam. If I were to leave this as is, and this is one of the bigger reasons why I decided to go with the pro version is because if I left this form as is, I'm gonna get a bunch of spam. So what I need to do is I need to go into the form. So go back to WP forms, select the form, and we need to add in a captcha. Now by default, there will be no captcha that you can add. You have to go in and configure one. You go into settings, captcha. I'm not gonna scroll down because it's gonna show the information, but you can pick one of these two captcha types. I just used H Captcha, which works great for me. You just create a free account, enter in your credentials on this page, you connect your Captcha, you're done and it's free. So you don't have to pay anything. So we just go in here and once I've connected a Captcha account, a free Captcha account to my WordPress site through WP Forms, then all I have to do is to go to WP Forms. Then we should go to Video Project Questionnaire. And then we can just add a Captcha. CAPTCHA has been enabled for this form. Don't forget to save your form. So it's going to put a little icon up here telling you that CAPTCHA is enabled. Click save. Then if I were to go to my page that includes my form and we scroll on down to the bottom, you'll see that it has a nice little CAPTCHA down here, which these are great at preventing spam entries. So it's a great way to be able to ensure that only the people or only people are filling out your particular form. And as you can see, it was super easy to create. It's got all the fields I want in it and it's all formatted to fit my site and everything is ready to go. Okay, so that's it. Just a quick tip for you today. I wanted to show you as I was actually building out a form on my website so that if you don't already have something like this built into your WordPress website, you can see how easy it is to build a new form using WP form. So like I said, I'm not sponsored, I'm not an affiliate or anything like that. I just used so many different plugins. I finally found one that worked well, and I'm hoping that it will work well for you and for your WordPress website as well. So I'll leave a link in the description if you'd like to check out WP forms, either the free version or the pro version, whatever one works best for you. Now on that note, something that I have created as well that I've put on this new site that I've built, which is a little bit more of a portfolio site is what I'm calling calling my creator kit. And so what I've done is I've put together a collection of my favorite resources that are useful for creators of any kind. And the coolest part is that it's absolutely free. So it's got some of my best videos, all the apps that I use and recommend, all the video gear that I recommend for people just getting started. I've put this together and it's totally free. So I'll leave a link in the description for that if you'd like to gain access to it, or you can just go to thomasmcgee.tv slash start and you can get access to it there as well. But if you found this video useful, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.